Everybody, I got three main points that I wanted to point out because a lot of people always ask, you know, like, I want, I want a deal or a sign or something um, from God to know that he's real. Um, but God has revealed himself in many, many different things. Three of the most killer points God has ever brought to our existence. And I mean, these are main huge points. So we have creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.1. God spoke all things that we see into existence. Uni, single, verse, spoken sentence. And God said, God made us in his likeness and image. We are the only thing that is created in his likeness and his image. He made man from clay, breath in his lungs. How dare I ever disrespect with the tongue? God, you speak and make planets. I speak and make raps. Uh, how can I brag about that? You're perfect. And even if this city ain't purchased, if it ain't about you, then this city is worthless. We should all rely on our lives like that. If it's not about him, our lives are worthless. Second, in the creation, all things in creation are to draw men back to the creator to draw mankind back to the creator creation back to creation for him and to him alone to worship we cannot claim ignorance for in romans 1 1 it says that all of creation declares the glory of god we are without excuse a single plant cell is more advanced than the nasa space shuttle and it takes trillions of dollars to make that one space shuttle fly into space yet that plant cell is more advanced than the nasa space shuttle and it had a designer an intelligent designer and it is god God's creation speaks to us. It is his written artwork, his spoken artwork to us. So God's spoken artwork is one, first and foremost, creation. Second is the coming of Christ, God coming down and revealing himself to creation. So we have Christ's birth, death, and resurrection. We have God in the flesh claiming, I am who I am. Then we have his written word to us, which is written by over 40 authors, all inspired by God. It is unique in every sense of its literature, its presence, its existence. It's unique, having no like or equal, and it stands alone to all other pieces of literature. It stands alone in its continuity, in its circulation, in its translation, its survival through time, persecution, criticism, and teachings, its prophecy, its history, its character, and the list goes on. It literally, hands down, is one of the most off-the-wall pieces of literature ever to hit mankind. It is unique. It stands alone to all other pieces of literature ever written. Written by 40 different people, written all, all, and it all stays consistent in, in its uniqueness. So we have creation, God's spoke, spoken artwork to us, and we are without excuse. You can see him in all of his creation, the creator. Uh, God revealed himself in the flesh, Christ. He came and lived and modeled and died and showed us how to live, act, love, and treat one another. And then God's written word to us, which stands alone, hands down. And, I mean, if you study it, it you, you, would, you would understand why it stands alone to all of the pieces of literature. Like, it's, th this no longer is a religion. You have the Creator speaking everything into existence. You have the Creator revealing Himself in the flesh in Christ. No other religion does it. It's a relationship. Now you can seek Him and find Him. And you have His written word. And now you have fellowship with other people in the spirit that He's left with us. So, hands down, it, it, it either is Christianity or it isn't. Like, I mean, it, we ask Him for a deal or a sign or something. Like, Christ didn't come down and die or nothing. So at some point, those are three huge cube points that we have to look at. So I love y'all. Take a look at them.